Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today we're going to talk about truth. Truth being the former president's new social media venture. Yes, uh, the irony is not lost on me. The fact that a person who is not on most major social media sites um, because they couldn't stick to the truth has launched a site called Truth um, that is Orwellian. Um, okay, we're, we're not just going to make fun of the site, although we kind of have to in the process of getting to the point. Um, we're we're going to talk about it a little bit and and kind of review what we know about it thus far. Okay, so to start with, it is exactly the fell sandwich that you would imagine it is. <laughs> um, it isn't actually officially live yet, but it has apparently already crashed once and already had a cybersecurity issue. <laughs> Because we all know that the Trump team knows a whole lot about cybersecurity, so this is really surprising, you know. It's not like they haven't been talking about that exact topic for months. Um, so, even though it's not officially announced yet, people got access to it via a, a beta link that allowed them to sign up. When they signed up, they created accounts for famous people to include Donald Trump. Um... And they, uh, they gave us an inside look of what it would look like while they were tweeting out images of animal anatomy from famous people's names. Um, basically, it's an off-brand Twitter, except it's not really even an off-brand Twitter. It's, uh, it's an off-brand Mastodon, which is, if you're not familiar with it, it's software that allows you to kind of run your own little Twitter to my untrained eye, it certainly appears as though the Trump team used this software to develop this site. Oddly enough, it doesn't appear like they complied with all of the licensing requirements, which I'm sure that's not true because there's no way the Trump team would open themselves up to lawsuits. I mean, this early anyway, that seems okay. Um, so the branding is awful. <laughs> the branding is awful. A tweet and a retweet are called a truth and a retruth. Nobody's going to say that. Uh, that doesn't exactly roll off the tongue. So what's going to happen is anytime somebody's talking about the platform, they will say, I tweeted out on truth, constantly advertising for the website that really hurt his feelings and maybe caused all of this. But I don't necessarily know that that's the case. So we're going to get to that. Um... It's being billed as a free speech website. I would point out that all the people who made parody accounts, yeah, they got banned. Um, on top of that, it is also in the terms of service that if you have an account and, and make fun of truth, truthiness, whatever, the truth network, whatever it is, um, that you, you could... That's a violation of the terms of service. You could lose your account over that. So if I was to truth out um, this video and you were to retruth it, we would probably both get banned from the free speech platform. Um, now, on top of all of this mountain of flaming fail, uh, the Trump team is also apparently planning to... Uh, launch Trump Plus, which is going to compete with Netflix and Hulu. Sure. Um, yes, you know, the, the, the companies that major production studios can't really compete with and haven't really been able to uh, contain, Trump, with all of his business skill, is going to do that. Um, he, they're, they're, they're pointing to his success in show business on The Apprentice as proof that he will be able to challenge Netflix. Um, because as we all know, running a massive streaming company is very similar to being an insufferable boss on a reality TV show. Those two things 
they're the same pretty much there's there's not a big difference there um on top of all of this there there's some other questions that arise first is market saturation there are already a bunch of social media networks that cater to the far right um, they're not incredibly popular and they normally don't last very long uh, mainly because there aren't new ideas coming out of the right so it becomes very stale and monotonous the i mean it's no fun to be on social media if you can't own the libs and if the libs aren't there really all you end up doing is arguing or repeating baseless theories to each other so on the off chance it does actually get some kind of following within the republican party it will accomplish a lot of infighting the other concern for people considering signing up for this is that because it is specifically marketed to the type of person who participated in the events of the 6th, I'm fairly certain that the people at the FBI at this moment are just like, yes, can't wait to set up accounts um, because it's, it's, it's like the Trump team built the honeypot for them. Um, so there's that. Now, to the actual point here. All of this rhetoric that came from Trump while he was president about big tech, knowing what we know about Trump and how he likes to telegraph his moves, do we think that it's possible that his rhetoric about big tech was just laying the groundwork for his visionary um, social media platform here. I, I think that may be the case. I think it may have all been leading up to this rather than this being a reaction to what occurred. I mean, I could be wrong about that. It's pure speculation. But given what we know about the former president, we can't, we can't put that out of the realm of possibilities. Um, at the end of the day, this is going to crash and burn in glorious fashion. Um, it, having a crash and a breach before you're even officially launched is generally uncool. Um, the issues that exist as far as the business side of it are pretty big. The technological things are pretty big. People really don't want to join an off-brand Twitter when Twitter still exists. Um, it doesn't uh, seem like it's going to attract anybody except for those people who will create infighting for the Republican Party or be people who are actively investigated by the FBI. Um, so it's a win. I, yeah. I can't wait to see what the Trump team comes up with next. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.